So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing lab and many of you are facing some kind of issue do not worry we will cover everything in this video first thing you have to do you have to just start lab and if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's get started just open the console incognito window here you have to just click on i agree and then click on agree and continue let me show you how you have to do you have to just scroll it down and just click on agree and continue now from here just click on api services and library we have to enable one api which is present on task number one come over here to task number one you can see it is cloud document ai api just copy the api name paste over here and hit enter now here just click on it and just enable it just enable it carefully and then we'll move forward to the next step once the api is enabled check the score for this task now we have to create a document ai processor basically here in this lab we have to create two processor one is form parser and another is ocr so just click on document ai and for other pre-assessment skill badges and lab free courses you can check the description box of this video i've shared everything just wait for it to get open now from here click on explore processor come over here in the general section you can see form parser now just paste the name over here to carefully paste it make sure there is no extra space or dot and click on create now here after that we have to open the workbench notebook so just go to here vertex ci and then click on dashboard open in a new tab because we will be requiring the form parser processor id for the next step of this lab now wait for the workbench to open first thing we'll do we'll enable the recommended apis click on it then from here just click on workbench and many of you are getting error like files are not visible etc so for that basically you have to just reset the notebook just click on it and click on reset now it will take some time and the reset will be over then it will look like again open jupyter lab will be highlighted so just wait for it So here you can clearly see the Jupyter now is ready. Just open the Jupyter lab. It will take some time and if you get any kind of error, just come back to the workbench section and open the Jupyter lab again. Once the notebook is ready, it will look like this. You have to just open the terminal section and then we have to just copy and install some of the commands. So just come over here and here you can see this is just click on terminal and just copy and paste this command first of all. 
and hit enter now wait for it to get completed come back again to the lab instructions and then run the next command over there so just come over here select it run it hit enter now if you get any kind of error like this just rerun the command again and once it's done we have to open the which file we have to open it is mentioned as sync first of all copy the pdf downloading file now it is uploaded now just check the score for this particular task now come for task number three if you are unable to see the file you can drag it like this and open the sync one okay just open the sync one select python 3s kernel and then wait for the kernel to get idle here basically we have to update only the processor id and not any other thing okay so here you can see the processor id is here come over here and you can see id just copy it carefully make sure there is no extra space replace it and just run one shell one by one just run it use this play button to run the shells so finally here you can see we have got the output that means we are done with this part now just save the notebook and check the score how you have to save click on file and then save now come over here click on back and just create a ocr processor come over here general document ocr click on it for the name they have mentioned the name on the lab only copy the name paste over here create once created open the terminal again paste over here like this hit enter now we have to open the async file previously we opened sync file now we have to open async file now here if you are unable to see the kernel just click on it and just select like this and wait for the kernel to get idle once the highlighted part shows blank circle it will be okay now just run over here and then we have to again export the project id sorry processor id like we did previously this will be of oci processor okay make sure you do not add the form parcel one now just run each shell one by one and once it's done we will move forward to the lab instruction and check the score and if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel So finally here you can see we have got the output that means we are done with the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's check the score now for the last task also we have got the score you have to just wait for some time and come on the task directly and just check the score like this and if you are unable to get the score rerun the command once again and if you are still unable to get the score just restart the lab and try again and if you want to enable this check my progress bar you can check the description box of this video i have made a video how you can enable this yellow bar